Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Taylor's Handmade. This is peanut brittle. Yeah, coconut brittle. These were $4.99 each at Marshall's. Uh, we actually did a review of uh, Taylor's Brittle, and it was like uh, it was like pumpkin spice or something like that. And then I saw these at Marshall's, and it's like, oh yeah, that was so good. I want to try these. Uh, so it says since 1990. The Taylor family has been producing great quality candy and snacks. We take pride in our company, the products we produce, and the people who make it. Please look for other Taylor products at your local retailer for purchase online. That's interesting that you can purchase online. Um, packaged by Taylor's Candy in Alsip, Illinois, www.taylorscandy.com. Eight servings are in the package. One square piece, 28 grams, is 120 calories. Okay. Probably not as big as you hope it is either. Ah. Uh, it, it's actually, I'm That's impressed. Not bad. I'm impressed. It probably weighs more than what they, um, what they think. Yeah, it probably weighs Three more. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm not eating a whole piece. Yeah. It probably, I bet it weighs more than 28 grams, that one especially. Mm. It's gonna be crunchy, that's for sure. It does have that hard crunch to it. It's not quite as glassy shards as some, but it is kind of. I love that uh, like caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that caramelized sugar mm -hmm. is really good. It tastes like uh, caramel and very buttery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have a good buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. And you and get this the reminds peanut. me of cooked sugar. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't have, caramel has it, like a cream to it. It does. And, and this is missing that. I think it's because, just because it's so sweet. It's very, very sweet. That it's just so sweet that it's like, it reminds me, like it has the sweetness level. It doesn't taste the same, but it has the sweetness level of like a Warler's Original. Which is really, really yeah. sweet. So, this is like that over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds you of Old Warler's a little bit, just not quite as buttery. Right. I love the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Lots but, of peanuts. Um, it, um, it's a little, for me, too crunchy. Yeah, a little hard. Yes, because we've had other peanut brittles that are softer to eat. Mm -hmm. That are, um, so like this is, Kevin said it's not like glass. The reason it's he's saying that is because a lot of times it's a really thin sheet. Yeah, and it's, so you bite it, it, comes, it breaks into little shards. Yes, it's a, quite literally like a piece of glass. This is thicker. Mm -hmm. So because it's thicker, it still is incredibly crunchy yep. as you heard. And it's 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 just too hard for me. And it gets in your teeth too. Like I would be scared to eat that all the time and that I would really cause some damage it's to my teeth. It's probably not good for your teeth. It's probably <laughs> not. Um, I know crunching ice and stuff is not good for your teeth. This is almost as hard as ice. We did a blind taste test of peanut brittles. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? that? And there are distinct differences. You would, I was blown away. I would have never believed that. There were very distinct differences between peanut brittles. This one, I love the flavor. It's just too crunchy. Yeah. I think some too of them, hard. they put more of that, whatever they put in there to, to foam it up a little bit. Um, and this one's not as foamed up as the other ones are. So it's not as soft. Right. No, I agree. This is the same. It's so good though. I like the flavor. If you like peanut butter, go for it. I think you'll like it. It's just, it is ex extremely crunchy. Extremely, yeah. This is the same calories. 120 calories. Which is surprising. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is surprising. Peanuts. So this is the coconut. Oh, it's got peanuts in it too. Yeah. I wonder if it has a coconut oil, coconut flavoring. I tell you what, when they're stuck together, just yeah, plain on eating it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I was surprised it still has peanuts in it. I thought it was going to be all like coconut in place of peanuts. So it makes sense why it's still the same calories is because 
Um, there's no more that's broken up besides this. It's okay, I'll break it. I'll Can break you break it. one up? I mean, it's it's hard. I could bite this in two, but I'm gonna get my small bra. No, I broke it. Um, so this is coconut brittle, but yeah, it still is full of peanuts. Too little for me to read. Coconut chips. Hmm. I ain't gonna eat coconut. Did you get coconut? I must have. Did you taste a little bit? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get any coconut flavor at all. I'm not gonna eat the rest of that. It's just too, it's just too crunchy. Yeah. I'm at an age now where I value my uh -huh. teeth. Your teeth. Um, it's got a good flavor to it. I like the regular better. I do get, um, I do get the coconut flavor in it. Um, it's a coconut chips. I can't tell you that I got a chip because it's all so crunchy. You must have because I don't get any coconut right. flavor at all. So, and I do get, it's not, um, it's, it's a sweet. Of course, it's going to be sweet because it's in that brittle. But there's so much sugar going on. So they could have used unsweetened coconut or whatever, um, and you wouldn't know it. Um, but I do get that coconut flavor without it being like overwhelming. It doesn't taste like um, suntan lotion or anything like that. It's just a really nice coconut, uh, but it's not too heavy. So you still do taste the, um, the sugar, and you do get those Spanish peanuts. The I wish almost they would replace the peanuts with the coconut and made it all on coconut. That's what I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, that's what I was I was hoping for, honestly. Of course, if I had looked I know, at if it, you look at the picture, you I would have seen that it has uh, um, peanuts. But it would have been better if it had been all coconut because literally I didn't got no coconut flavor whatsoever at all in my bite. Uh -huh. And that's just because I didn't get a coconut piece. Mm -hmm. If they'd done coconut shreds all through it instead of the peanuts, you would have got a lot of coconut. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because we've had coconut brittle before and it's all it was all coconut yes and it's delicious um, it really it's like candy so it really well, i mean this is like candy for me there was no difference between these two mm -hmm. um, but yeah. they they get an a on flavor yeah but, it tastes really good but they get an f they fail on texture for me personally well, they're like every other brittle i mean not every other brittle they're like a lot of other they're brittles. like a lot it's just it's just too hard so i would say you do what uh, is in your good conscience. You know, if, it, if you're okay with eating it, then it's real. It has a really good flavor. I am not okay with it. Would you eat, eat, sit there and eat that? No, because it's too hard. I don't want to chip a tooth. Uh huh. Chip a tooth, or I have to get a crown or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's yeah. yeah you, you know, that, that's just the way it is. Uh, but uh, if they ever change it, then I would be willing to go back and try it for right. sure. Well, if we hadn't had other brittles, we know that are a lot uh, puffier, like foamier uh, and softer, mm -hmm. that, then it would be different. But we know there are brittles out there. Yes. They're still brittles, but they're just puffier. Yes, they still have that delicious flavor. Yeah, they're more airy. Yes. Uh, that is the best best word, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. like I said, you, you go with what makes you happy. Uh, but I will have a picture for you at the end, and mm -hmm. thanks for watching.